Division is one of the four basic operations in mathematics. When applied to algebraic expressions, several cases are possible. We can divide an algebraic expression by a monomial or by a polynomial. In this video, I will explain how to divide an algebraic expression by a monomial, more specifically by a constant term. Division can be written in the form of a fraction. Since the division of two numbers can sometimes result in a decimal number, the reduced form of the division of an algebraic expression may contain decimal numbers or an irreducible fraction. If you need a reminder on how to reduce a fraction, make sure to watch our video on that topic. You can find the link in the description under this video. Let's start with our first example. 4x exponent 3 divided by 2. We could rewrite the division as 4x cubed over 2, since a fraction is a division. To divide a monomial by a constant term, we divide the coefficient of the monomial by the constant term. So we have 4 divided by 2, which equals 2. Variable x exponent 3 remains the same. Therefore, the reduced or simplified form of the division is 2x cubed. Let's look at a second example. 12xy squared divided by 8. We could also write 12xy squared over 8. To perform the division, we must divide 12 by 8, which equals 1.5. The variables xy squared remain the same. Therefore, the simplified form of the division is 1.5 xy squared. It is also possible to obtain a simplified fraction. In this case, instead of dividing 12 by 8, we simplify the 12 eighths fraction. To do this, we must find the greatest common factor of 12 and 8. In this case, the GCF is 4. Therefore, we divide 12 by 4, which equals 3, and 8 by 4, which equals 2. The xy squared variables remain the same. Therefore, the simplified form is 3xy squared over 2. The two answers we found are equivalent. However, fractions are preferred to decimals because they are more precise. Now, we will look at an example of a polynomial divided by a constant term. 4x plus 12xy minus 20y divided by 4. Here, we must distribute the division to each term. So, we have 4x divided by 4 plus 12xy divided by 4 minus 20y divided by 4. Next, we divide the coefficient of each monomial by the constant term 4. For the first term, we have 4 divided by 4, which equals 1. Therefore, 4x divided by 4 equals 1x. By convention, we do not write the coefficient 1, so let's get rid of the 1. For the second term, we have 12 divided by 4, which equals 3. Therefore, 12xy divided by 4 equals 3xy. For the last term, we have negative 20 divided by 4, which gives negative 5. So negative 20y divided by 4 equals negative 5y. Therefore, the reduced form of the algebraic expression is x plus 3xy minus 5y. Let's look at a final example of a polynomial divided by a constant term. Let's take 6a minus 28a squared plus 21b divided by negative 14. We start by distributing the division to each term. Therefore, we have 6a divided by negative 14 plus negative 28a squared divided by negative 14. Be careful. Remember, subtracting a number is equivalent to adding its opposite. So it's easier to divide negative 28 by negative 14 than to keep the subtraction sign and divide 28 by negative 14. Finally, the last term is 21b divided by negative 14. We divide the coefficient of each term by negative 14. If the result of the division is not a whole number, we reduce the fraction instead of keeping a decimal number. 
For the first term, we have 6 divided by negative 14, which gives negative 0 decimal 428571 repeating. Note that it is easier to use the fraction instead of the repeating decimal. So we simplify the fraction 6 over negative 14 instead of dividing the numbers. We get 3 over negative 7. So 6a divided by negative 14 is 3a over negative 7. By convention, the negative sign is placed in the numerator and not the denominator. So we have negative 3a over 7. Remember, we can also write negative 3 over 7 times a, where the coefficient is negative 3 over 7. This notation is equivalent to writing negative 3a over 7. For the second term, we have negative 28 divided by negative 14, which equals 2. Therefore, negative 28a squared divided by negative 14 equals 2a squared. For the third term, we have 21 divided by negative 14, which equals negative 1.5. In the fraction form, we have 3 over negative 2. So 21b divided by negative 14 equals 3b over negative 2. Here too we write the negative sign in the numerator, which results in negative 3b over 2, or negative 3 over 2b, enabling us to separate the coefficient from the variable. We can also remove the plus sign in front of the negative 3 over 2 and keep only the negative sign. Therefore, the simplest form of the division is negative 3 over 7a plus 2a squared minus 3 over 2b. Voila! I hope this video helped you understand how to divide an algebraic expression by a constant term.